The Leech Lake Band of Ojibwe is celebrating the reacquisition of close to 12,000 acres of land. The U.S. Forest Service has signed a decision memo between the Leech Lake Band and the Chippewa National Forest, transferring the land from the National Forest to the band. Our reporter Matthew Freeman has more from a ceremony today marking the change. Today, most of the lands within the Leech Lake Reservation are not owned by the Band of Ojibwe. For over a century, the band has worked relentlessly to reclaim their ancestral lands. With the help of legislation originally enacted in December of 2020, 345 restoration parcels totaling 11,778 acres of land on the National Chippewa Forest will be transferred to the reservation. The Restoration Act is a culmination of generations of work to restore a small portion of our reservation that was illegally transferred today more than 75 years ago, but it's being re returned today, and that's why we celebrate. The loss of these lands has had lasting effects, including resentment towards federal agencies, as well as homelessness and overcrowding. Today, less than 5% of the treaty guaranteed lands remains with the band. This is about a future where people of this nation have decent, safe places to live because now there is more land that belonged to your relatives that is now within the nation. It is celebrating the incredible innovation and hard work at Leech Lake every single day, addressing issues of, of, of health and wellness and the return of native healing in this country. With all this land that being returned, we're gonna have more available land to build homes for our, me our members that are experiencing homelessness today. That's a priority for the council. There was one word in particular that was repeated several times throughout the ceremony. That word being acknowledge. We cannot change the past, but we need to acknowledge it, to know our history and to be able to right the wrongs and continue to move forward and do the next good thing that is in front of us. That is all that is asked of us. Speakers at the ceremony wanted to stress that this is simply about getting land and water back and not about taking it away from anyone else. So land back doesn't mean that we're coming for the homes and properties of, of, of non-natives. It's our languages, it's plants, it's medicine, it's ceremonial practices, our religious beliefs, and it's the stories that are associated with our great-grandparents, where they walked, where they played, where they prayed. The tribal nations will have the opportunity to manage all of these resources I just named on these lands once again. Chairman Jackson of Leech Lake feels an even deeper connection to the land. It's like an acre of land to us, to me, it, it feels like it's a relative. It's a relative of ours. That's part of our family. It has a, a special place in all of our hearts. Senator Smith also had a special announcement for the Band of Ojibwe before the ceremony concluded. The Department of Interior surveyors discovered another approximately 4,000 acres that had been taken and had not been included in the original bill. And so I want you all to know that we are working very hard. We have a new bill to restore those about 4,000 acres, and I will not rest until that piece of the work is done. Reporting in Bina, I'm Matthew Freeman, Lakeland News. About 1.75% of the federal land within the Chippewa National Forest will be transferred under the act, leaving over 660,000 acres for public recreation. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.